If I were to ask you, what color is water? What would you say? Blue? Clear? Water's transparent, right? So what's the answer? By the end of this video, you'll know. I'll start with another question first. Why is the ocean blue? You may be thinking it's because it reflects the blueness of the sky, but the sea and the sky are actually blue for two separate reasons. Let's consider the sky first. The sky is blue because of something called Rayleigh scattering, which refers to the scattering of sunlight when it hits air molecules and other small particles present in the atmosphere, which scatter short wavelength blue and violet light more than long wavelength red light, causing this blue light to spread across the sky, giving it its color. The sky is blue, therefore, because of the reflection of light, and the blueness of the sky does contribute somewhat to the blueness of the ocean. The ocean does reflect some of the color of the sky, However, it's not the sole reason for the ocean's color. Now here's the interesting part. All water, not just ocean water, is actually inherently blue. And this is caused by the absorption of light. Let me explain. Of the colors of the visible light spectrum, water absorbs the longer red, orange, and yellow wavelengths more than the shorter blue wavelengths. It essentially removes the red, orange, and yellow and a bit of the green light, while the blue wavelengths survive the absorption, if you will. It's this remaining blue light that scatters and reaches our eyes. So we see water as blue. So why isn't this glass of water blue? That's because this bluing effect is more prominent as the amount of water light needs to pass through increases. So with a small glass of water, all wavelengths of light seemingly pass through the glass equally, which is why it appears transparent. The light goes in one end and comes straight out the other. However, the absorption effect is actually taking place. The water is actually letting slightly more blue through than red, but there's just not enough water for us to notice. Therefore, the bigger the body of water, the more noticeable the effect is. This is because there are more water molecules in the light's path to absorb the redder end of the color spectrum. For example, if you fill a bathtub or a swimming pool that has white sides and floor, then the water will appear blue. In this photo, the water in the deep pool is blue, and the same water in a small bucket is ever so slightly blue, even if the pool is indoors and there's no blue sky for the water to reflect. So there's the answer. Pure water is slightly blue, and the deeper the body of water, the bluer it is.